we're talking about today is the fact that savings rates, which in theory should also be increasing as interest rates increase, are not giving the same same returns uh, that savers might expect uh, in terms of comparing that with what they're having to pay now in extra mortgage rates. No, no, they are going up. Savings rates have increased. Interest rates are high. In fact, the highest they've been in a generation. And if your fixed term mortgage is up anytime soon, that's not great news. Now, you won't find many two year fixes currently under 6%. But if you're keeping an eye on your savings account, well, the rates don't match up. Some instant access accounts are still below 1%. Just looking at a comparison site and what some of the big banks are currently offering, TSB is offering 2.5%, the co-op 2.25%, and HSBC is even lower, in fact, it's one and three quarters, 1.75% for your savings. And understandably, people are just not happy about it. In fact, many campaigning for consumers say it's unjustifiable. Banks say they've got to balance the needs of savers and lenders. And there are good deals out there, but they're under pressure to make changes. I'm Sally Lockwood, and on this Sky News Daily, is anything going to change to close the gap between mortgage and savings rates? And what could that change be? Well, to explain all this, I'm joined by our business correspondent, Paul Kelso. Hi, Paul. Hello. And by Danny Hewson, who is Head of Financial Analysis at the investor platform AJ Bell. Hi, Danny. Hi. Thanks so much for joining us. There's a lot to walk through here. Paul, let's kick off with you. And we'll start with the basics. Interest rates at the moment, they've recently reached a 15-year high. Yeah, that's right. Interest rates currently 5%. That's after 13 successive rate rises uh, going back to 2021 from the Bank of England. So it's a really rapid and enormous change in the cost of borrowing money that hasn't just caught out consumers and households. You shouldn't feel bad about it. Huge organisations, governments, regulators, utilities, pretty much everyone is adjusting to this massive shock and change in the interest rate environment. And the most recent inflation figures didn't just show that inflation in the UK is sticky, it's stuck. And now they're, of course, predicting that the base rate of inflation is going to get even higher before Christmas. Yes, there was this hope and expectation, in fact, that interest rates would come down and come down pretty rapidly. Economic gravity would take over. It hasn't proved to be the case. Inflation's stuck, and that's a big problem. It's a problem politically, we know, for the Prime Minister, but it's a practical problem day to day for households, businesses and government. What does this all mean for mortgage rates, Paul? It means mortgage rates have gone up. We're talking at the end of the first week in July, we're talking about rates for a two year fix at just above six and a half percent. And that is a pretty steep climb. We had the last really steep climb was after uh, the Liz Truss quasi Quateng mini budget. Well, those two year fixes are now costing even more than then. A five-year fix is going to be above 6%. And before we bring in Danny, one of the main themes that we're going to be talking about today is the fact that savings rates, which in theory should also be increasing as interest rates increase, are not giving the same returns. No, no, they are going up. Savings rates have increased. Again, end of the first week in July, above 2.4%, 2.5%. Remember that mortgage figure, 6.5%. That's a 4% margin. That is very healthy. You go back to just before the, int- the interest rate uh, hiking began at the bank, when savings rates were bumping along just above zero, the margin was 2%. So the margin has doubled. And that is what consumers have definitely noticed. Uh, a lot of media have noticed. And the government has noticed and that's why the banks essentially are on notice to provide better deals. OK, good time to bring in Danny. You know, Danny, if you're a consumer right now and you're feeling squeezed at every angle, you're paying a lot more for your mortgage, you're worrying about making ends meet, and then you're seeing that you're not actually even benefiting from having savings in the way that you might expect, you'd be you know, within your rights to think, what the heck is going on here? And I think a lot of consumers are thinking exactly that. There is an awful lot of anger that they seem to be squeezed on every side, particularly because, as you say, it's incredibly quick for those mortgage rates to to go up seemingly almost on a daily basis. But of course, then we get the savings rates not responding in the same way, particularly if you stick with your sort of traditional accounts, those easy access accounts. That said... 
I think the consumer has to bear some responsibility here because there are much better rates out there if you are prepared to look for them, particularly if you're prepared to hunt for them online and particularly if you're prepared to lock your money up for a year, two years or so, then you can get a pretty chunky deal. In fact, the best one year bond is paying 6.1 percent now. So there are deals to be had. And I think, you know, we've got used to not chasing those deals because we've had over 10 years where interest rates have been so low and because inflation has been so low that those savings accounts with decent chunky returns just haven't been out there. So people have looked elsewhere. They've looked at equities, you know, those kind of investments, but they haven't got used to looking for better savings rates. And I think that's definitely what they need to do. Yeah, that's an interesting point, isn't it? People have been so used to these interest rates that have been so low for so long that it may not have been on their radar. But now, of course, you can make some money on your savings. What would you advise people who do have some savings at the moment, but certainly aren't getting the rates that they might deserve in their instant access savings?